Hey Sagittarius, so today we're going to go ahead and do your new love reading. So this is going to be who is the next new partner, new love coming into your life? Uh, what do you need to know about this person, the situation? How will you recognize them and know them? So this one did win the poll, so that's what we're going to do this week. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the overall feeling I'm getting here um, I do feel like for whoever this is for, there's something within your vibration recently, which you have been really focusing a lot on self or you have been raising your vibration um, very much so. And I feel like with this apple next to this butterfly, you may have a temptation that either currently you have or that could be coming in a little bit later. And so I want to see more as to what this message is, is going to entail. But it feels like you are tugged into two different directions if this is for you. Or you find yourself kind of fluctuating even between two worlds. You know, one could be again like a lower vibration. One could be more of a something that you actually do have around you that is tempting. Um, and the other one could be something higher vibrational. And Spirit's actually showing me a radio signal and something about frequency, something about when you attune to a certain frequency. Um, and when I shuffled here, we do have the hermit too. So as I was saying too, in this candle, here's at the top of this turtle. I do feel like this is for someone that you're going through a very deep inner transformation and you probably have been for a while. And it's almost like you're on the tipping scale or you're on the tipping end of something here where you are given an option or given a choice to kind of fall backwards or to move forward or to move ahead okay so if this kind of sounds like it could be for you let's go ahead and see the more detail as to what spirit wants to say about this message then so tune us in then spirit to whoever this message is for um, what other detail do we have about this that you want to talk about the her the I was gonna say the the hermit the hermit the hierophant and the hermit yeah very much of a spiritual I do feel like with this lightning bolt behind this crow again there's something happening here for you which you're being tested or you've been tested and it almost gives me the impression too the way this crow is is has the mouth open that there is some kind of knowledge coming your way or you're tapping into a lot of spiritual knowledge okay well let's go ahead and see what do you want to talk about spirit and tell us more about this message then what are the specifics of this i'm also being told that some of you might have a leap of faith into a new direction that you're about to take okay wow justice the ten of swords yeah this could be some big energy um you may have this coming in or again you may be confronted with kind of a choice almost in whatever way that's going to be to sort of elevate your life by taking a new route or a new opportunity or to fall back okay and with the justice it kind of does give me that feeling too with the black and white here too the justice the sword so i'm hearing the word liberation yeah the star but let's get the cards out here because there's a lot of stuff coming up already so tell us about the specific message spirit please for whoever this is for tell us the details then of this i'm seeing five 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 so I know fives are about change. We have the moon, and yeah, here's the five of pentacles. What is this message about, Spirit? Tell us more detail. Yeah, and this could even be that some of you are going through a time within yourself right now where a lot of things don't make a lot of sense, you know, or you're feeling a bit confused or conflicted or you may just be going through a temporary time of confusion with the moon here and the dark sky in the background but yeah here we have the ace of pentacles i feel a lot of you are having there's a few things coming up here but the main thing is that there's an opportunity or an offer coming in where you almost have to take the high road or take the leap of faith in this direction it could also be fear though too if it's not like a temptation we'll get more but it could be something for some of you to where it's like a temptation to again fall back into old patterns or to fall back into old um, self patterns but others of you it could be like the butterfly and i think i had seen this vision before i started too where the butterfly was trying to kind of get out of like a cage 
and the wings were starting to flap, but it was like something where um, it needed to kind of fly higher to get out of the jar. So I do feel like that's also referring to this too, where you may have to take a leap of faith here and accept an opportunity and not let the fear get the best of you here. Because there could be this, it's like I'm getting two worlds, you know, one is like darkness and one is light, which means that there's this split between the two here. I'm hearing impossible decision. Yeah, so I don't know what this is for all of you. I'm not sure what it is, but there could be some decision you have to make the chariot. Um, yeah, if it is vice versa, then take it that way. Sometimes the readings can pick up on people around you if you you know resonate with that. But there's definitely with the chariot, there's a decision that's being made here to be free. Um, and... I'm hearing spirits say again, the high road, something with the Hierophant too, something where this path of the butterfly and the Ace of Pentacles is a very highly spiritual road for somebody and is also a road, a path that has a lot of potential in many ways. And it's something which can grow you on, you know, self levels, spiritual levels, financial levels, um, in many ways. And I feel like yeah, the Queen of Wands is here too. Tell us more about this message, Spirit. The Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Empress. Yeah, for some of you, this actually could just be fear, okay? So it could be fear, and temptation can kind of be a fear too, because... Um, you know, maybe our ego is telling us that we can't do something or there's some kind of fear cropping up here. Um, so that could be it too with the Knight of Pentacles and the Moon. It could be like a fear of failure if you were to take a certain opportunity. So if this is for you, you probably have had, you know, maybe some kind of calling lately or you've had an opportunity presented to you or it's coming in very soon. And it's very much about you being kind of the leader of your world with the Empress, the Queen of Wands, especially if you're a feminine energy. It's like there's something to where it's going to, again, elevate you. It's going to take you higher in life. It's going to um, assist you in your spiritual growth. And I feel like with this apple, um, it's like you are outgrowing something. You're kind of like... You're setting boundaries, even with yourself. You know, you could even be sitting there and setting boundaries with yourself, if that makes sense. Like, this is what I'm going to allow for myself. This is what I'm going to... Um, like discipline myself with or commit myself to devote myself to so but definitely the theme here for this is that the butterfly it's like you're ready to fly um, and I feel like whoever needs to hear this it's like there's a message here that don't stop you are on the right track so you may have already been starting this you may have already been setting a foundation or roots down with something or you've begun to feel called into a certain direction don't stop what you're doing don't stop on that path here because it is very much the path for you and because I am kind of getting something about blinded by light I'm hearing which is why it's interesting with the moon it's one of those two kind of groups of you some of you could even be feeling that people or a specific situation is blinded by your light meaning that you really have to kind of disregard that or step away from that and realize how much you shine in the darkness with the Empress here and that you are ready to fly away kind of from those situations but others of you it could just be the fear of yourself like fear that stops you in your own self um, and so you almost blind yourself if that makes sense yeah and here's the butterfly the two of pentacles Yeah, some of you here, if this resonates with you as well, you might be right now in the process of this decision. Okay, so you might be, let me get a little bit more detail and I will get some tea leaf cards to see what it is exactly. But some of you could be um, right now in the middle of this decision or this contemplation or this idea or this offer. And it's like maybe you are going back and forth between whether or not you should do it or you're going back and forth between your old self and your new self, your old self and your new self. Um, so it's like you're kind of in this maybe dark, dark kind of forest here with the moon and things could be confusing for you. Things could be kind of almost like an illusion. Like if you're not careful, the, the you know, you could eat the bad apple, if that makes sense, or the temptation could catch you or you could derail within yourself. And so whoever this is for needs to know that you are, um, 
like you're having a lot of changes within yourself which is making you realize how much you're really worth and how much potential you truly have um, so don't don't doubt yourself and don't doubt your bigger plans in life and things like that it also says here now is the right time so i feel like that could also be relevant too that this if this message is for you now is the right time let's get some more detail what do you want to talk about spirit with this today for the viewers and for somebody watching this is not going to be for everybody if you have been kind of sitting back in your life and you know maybe you've let opportunities pass you by or you know you because i am seeing somebody kind of just sitting there on the couch this is not going to be for everybody but and it's like you know that you're meant to do more and you're letting your fear get the best of you and you're kind of just sitting back and letting life waste away um, and so if that is for somebody it's like you are really ready to come out of that because it is just kind of fear that's stopping you at this point but let's see what else do you want to talk about yeah so we have manifest here decide what you want believe you deserve it and visualize having it this is such a strong message like i can feel the energy in this reading of whoever this is for like whoever your guides they're coming up really strongly to say like there's something of almost like a scolding you know like just do it this is what you like if you believe in yourself you don't know what you could accomplish is so much bigger than what you are trying to um you're like downplaying yourself so they really want to push somebody forward right now they really want somebody to see what they're capable of and to get out of your own way and also if it's relevant to set boundaries with things that are trying to take from you or energies which you don't even realize are still attached to you which are more of like these lower temptations and they're almost like feeding into a version of you that you are you've let go of um, and so it's really time to set your sights higher it's really time here to believe in yourself fully and and 100 and i feel like i am getting a message here too and this is like a side note coming in um you may have either like a person it could be an ex it could be someone that you recently broke up with maybe for a few of you it's like you may be wondering um if you were good enough for that person or there was something about your self-worth here and i'm just hearing that that person is very much going to regret losing you but it doesn't mean that they're going to like come back i don't know i'm not really going into that right now this whole energy but there's something about that person maybe that they will regret it or they do realize what you're worth um and so you kind of dwelling on that or sitting back in that energy and letting them kind of almost like dictate what you feel of yourself is something that spirit wants you to to kind of like get out of we have sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that leads you in the right direction so that's for those of you who have a decision or a um, opportunity coming in very soon if you haven't already to where you could be confronted with some kind of life-changing opportunity or maybe just you know whatever this is this could go so many ways maybe you have an opportunity to um, have something new or to, or to try something new but your fear again gets the best of you or you think that you need to stay with this particular partner or you need to stay in this um, lower vibration because you're afraid of what would happen or what people would think or that you're not good enough or various things um, but i do feel like spirit's saying that there's an opportunity coming in here for you which you need to seize that and if you are sitting back and not doing anything at all they want you to take the take the reins kind of in your life right now and realize that um, you need to create more opportunity for yourself in your life i'm hearing it is safe and i'm seeing something about an archangel coming up here I don't know which archangel it is but there's an angel or an archangel coming up here and saying it is safe again there's such an overwhelming emotion in this reading of like it's hard to put it into words but it's like something to where they want to almost like they almost want to like lead you into the like out of the tunnel and into the light and say that it's like this is safe for you to receive this amount of abundance or love and everything really but somehow they want to like shake you up so that you can understand how much you are deserving of it 
And I don't know if that's something that already came in or not, or if it's just about your self-worth in general. Let's get some of these. Any specifics for this reading spirit that the viewer would know that this is for them or anything else you want to add to this for whoever this is for? And again, this is super specific, not for everybody, but if you're in like a job that you really don't like, and maybe you're in that job because you think that that's the only job that you can get um, because you've believed that or your belief systems have led you to believe that I can only be in this position even though it's not paying you well or you don't like the job. Um, again, they want you to like take back your power and your gifts and like unravel who you are with this snake here because you can have it all and you could have an opportunity coming in very soon or to create that within yourself where that opportunity is going to take you somewhere that you really deserve to be in matters of career away from the job that you're currently in. But again, you know, you kind of have to believe in that. Okay, so what else do you want to say, Spirit, for this message, please? I'm seeing a jaguar. What else do you want to say? Not the car, but the animal. What do you want to say for this reading here? I'm hearing unguard your heart. So we have pay attention to your work, a journey, either physical or mental. So as I was saying, I do feel for most of you, this is a work message that they want you to pay attention to your work. And for, again, a specific person, you could be already working on a project or maybe you have an idea for something. They want you to keep going with that. Um, keep like outlining that, keep making the steps forward to make that a reality. Pay attention to that and don't kind of give in to, to whatever this temptation is or whatever these beliefs are that creep up on you. Try not to give that any attention. And you may be making some kind of journey. It could be, like it says, either physical or mental. But it's definitely a journey that's up ahead for you with the butterfly. And um, it's something that is... It requires courage. It's going to require courage for you, though, to take this road so that you can really blossom fully. So be prepared for change. New creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. Yeah. So this is a really positive, beautiful reading here, but I, again, I feel like there's such a urgency with this. I almost feel like I'm, um, like again, somebody's guides here just really want to like push this mes message forward. Like I feel like it's almost like a demanding energy, but it's in a good way, not in like a, a bad way, but it's just something that feels like you're being kind of demanded almost to, to realize this about yourself. And also, again, for that group of you too, there could be something here around you right now, which is like, I don't know if it's dangerous, like not dangerous as in you're in danger, but it could be, I don't know what that is, something that it's going to be different for a lot of you, but it's something which doesn't feel good or you're in a tricky situation or it's something which is somehow there's a line that you shouldn't go down because it could lead to loss or it could be a situation which can land you in trouble emotionally, financially, whatever that could be. And for some, it could be a love connection I am getting. Taking a vacation, physically or mentally. So we have that same physical or mental. So that's why I'm getting it kind of as both for some of you. It's like a physical and a mental change that you're going through. And we have successful outcome to your problems. And we have here, yeah, a money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Uh, at the bottom, we have get back to basics. So see, it's like there's something where with this reading, get back to basics, pay attention to your work, where there's like that pushing energy to say like you're on the path to a lot of abundance and money. Um, so for most of you, this is something that you've been either concerned about your finances or you've just been wanting to you know, have more money in your life or you've been wanting to just, um, it's almost like you feel that you could create something more. I'm hearing the song Ironic. 
I don't know who sings it. Um, can't think of her name right now, but I think it's Alanis Morissette, I think is, is what it is. But there's something about like there's an ironic twist here. I don't know what that is. It's almost like maybe for some of you, um, like I was saying earlier to where someone could regret things about losing you. There's some kind of like twist to where you are going to be the one that's going to win at the end somehow. Um, or you are going to shock everyone with like how much you're growing or how much money maybe you will make at some point for some of you or how successful this business will be for you or something which feels like it's almost like ironic how it all works out in the end. So that could even be something too where, um, you know, maybe specifically somebody here feels like, you know, for example, maybe something that you worked on for a while didn't work out and it's like, ironically, something else comes in and then you realize that that was meant to happen the whole time. They want somebody here also to take baths, I'm hearing, salt baths, take a vacation, take a break. Um, they also, you know, of course, there's a message about like working too, but there's something to where you also need to take time for self-care. Okay, or you are going to be at a place later on to where you are very much able to take time for yourself. Because when you believe in yourself and you follow that, that's when it kind of all comes together. Okay, so let's get the final message. What is the final message for this reading? Yeah, and I'm noticing this here at the bottom. Um, it's yeah, it's important for some of you here to cleanse your energy because you could be could be absorbing people's energies that are not yours with the moon, and that could be where I'm getting that kind of blurred lines energy to where some of what like I'm picking up in the reading feels blurry because you're actually picking up on someone that's not you, if that makes sense. So I feel like this is you really absorbing a lot that's not yours. It could be people just like, you know, passers-by. It could be family members. It could be a partner. It could be just the collective right now. So some of it you may not even realize, but you are taking on people's negative emotions or negative mindset. Um, and so you becoming kind of the alchemist of your own world and your own reality, you can you can manage that better. Like you can... You can um, take back your own power because if you were like when you step into your Empress energy, you're the only tree here. So when you have your own vibration as like nobody else's, you cleanse yourself and you're grounded every day and you keep yourself very stable. Money is going to start to come in for you or just any type of abundance that resonates with you. But for a lot of you, it feels like money um, is going to be coming in for you because you've you've rid yourself kind of of. Um, other people's energy and also beliefs that you may have caught on to or that you've like circled in your mind for a long time. When you release that, it's like money is going to flood in. Or this project or whatever it is you're working on is going to go much better because you've gotten rid of that like lingering. It's almost like someone who's nagging you all the time. It's like a nagging old energy. Okay, what is the final message here? Yes, <laughs> so again, this pushy energy we have, yes, this is the sign that you were looking for. Whatever question, confirmation, or synchronicity, the answer is yes. So again, it's kind of funny, almost the, the energy I'm getting from this, like they want someone to know, like, yes, stop asking. The answer is yes, do this. The answer is yes. Um, are you going to be successful at this? Yes. Can I make money with this? Yes. Like there's just a yes for this and they want you to know uh, that information. So maybe some of you have asked too many questions even. You know, or when, when we float around kind of in that seven of cups in the moon, it can it can lead us astray because we are constantly questioning our own selves and it like it's like you become irritated at you because you don't believe in you fully and so it's like something where just stop stop sitting back or asking so much and just do it or just believe in yourself 
Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, we have self-love is truly the key to harmonious relationships and manifestation. Spend some quality time with yourself right now and work on truly loving and valuing your all parts put you first. Yeah, so there's, again, a strong message that for a lot of you watching this, it's really about like taking all of your energy and all of your power back into yourself, your body, um, and just really like taking enough time to for self-care because that's also how you're going to attract more abundance when, again, you don't absorb so much from the outside environment. Maybe even stop watching so many readings or something. I don't know. There's just something about keep it all within yourself right now. Or at least daily cleanse yourself. So I will leave it here. I really hope this reading could reach whoever it's meant for because it seems like Spirit definitely wanted that to come through. Um, and I hope that this could resonate with you. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below. I'd appreciate it. And um, best of luck, take care, and lots of love. Lots of love.